So I don't know if any of you heard, but the last month was kind of busy for NC State. I was Washington, D.C., then Dallas, then Pittsburgh, then Phoenix. But I wasn't here toward the end, exactly. But I wasn't here very often to work with this ensemble. And every time I came back to work with them, I would tell you how much I appreciated them because it's just, just a fantastic group of people to work with. But we were able to steal a few extra rehearsals. And so a profound thank you, one, to another counterpart of mine, Dr. Whitfield, who I mentioned earlier, but he was able to cover a rehearsal or two when he was here before he took off to Portland and Cleveland. So thank you, Dr. Whitfield. And thank you to Dr. Stuart Benkert. He is our interim department chair, and he's hiding somewhere here. But thank you, Dr. Benkert, for also um, working with the ensemble while I was gone. Thank you, gentlemen, both very much. Um, there is a woman standing in the middle at the back. Everybody go look at her so you can embarrass her. That is Paula Riddle. Um, she is microphones, helping make sure that all the chairs and stands get here, making sure that I get all the things done that I need to, so many other things. She has been a fantastic addition to our department and we are truly appreciative of all the work that you do. Thank you so much, Paula. Additional thank yous again to Dr. Benker for his support of what these students do, what we do as faculty, and for all of us. Also, thank you to Joanne Sutton and Lily Grace Wolf and Wendy Roa. Wendy deals with the money and puts up with me in a whole other different way. Sorry, Wendy, thank you for all your help. Um, Joanne takes care of all of us in the circus. Thank you, Joanne, again, sorry for everything I do, mea culpa. And when, um, when here, and then Lily Grace is the person who was responsible for getting everything down in the program, as well as any advertising that's set up for the department. So thank you very much for all three of those wonderful people. <laughs> last thing before I get into this, if you are a senior, or you know that you're performing for your last time on the stage with this ensemble, please stand. So, ah, Angels in the Architecture. Um, Frank T. Kelly got the idea for this piece from the Sydney Opera House. Um, there's a lengthy thing, I won't go over everything with you, and I don't know that I need this now for this. Um, the first international trip I took here at NC State was I took the NC State Wind Ensemble to Sydney, Australia, and we performed in the Sydney Opera House. The architectural device that, 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 that inspired him was back then, over the stage were these clear acrylic, some people call them donuts, others call them clouds. But realistically, if you look up old pictures of the Opera House, they looked like halos. Um, they're not illuminated, but they catch the light. And so depending on the angle, they looked like they were glowing. Um, they were sound reflectors. It's just a really cool type of sound reflector. And they were amazing. Um, playing in there was an amazing experience because of that. Um, but he used that as an inspiration for the piece. Um, the piece essentially is about the um, good and evil, and not necessarily good versus evil, but the fact that in humanity there is inherent good, but there can also be inherent evil always lurking. Um, the piece is actually um, kind of, shall we say, bookended on both ends by an angel singing. Um, Anna Mushika is going to be the angel singing. You'll hear from her in just a moment. Um, but as we do the piece, you'll hear these different swings of things, um, whether it be the Old Hundredth, um, Jeannie and Salter, um, a Hebrew, um, Havana, uh, Havana Alechem, that's it. I think I pronounced it correctly. If not, sorry. Um, he didn't pick any one denomination, and he even wrote a chorale of his own, and the idea was that this is representative of any of us, all of us. It's not any one particular thing. Um, and so you'll hear these swings back and forth. Um, it's a very pro programmatic work. 
and um we hope that you enjoy our presentation of frank to kelly's angels in the architecture.